We're now going to focus on the audits panel. And the audits panel, as you might guess, is where the Google Chrome developer tools actually run an audit on our web page and give us suggestions for making improvements. Now you can see there are not too many things on the screen for this panel, so we'll leave everything selected as is. But I'll tell you what, let's not run it for mine. This is one thing I like to do. Let's just go to Google. We'll have a look at what their developer tools suggest for their own homepage. So we'll click run. And that was it. It was really fast. But you can see now the audit panel is giving us lots of suggestions that we may want to implement to actually improve our web page. So you can see here, enable gzip compression. And we can expand it out and get further information about the actual message. Leverage browser caching, proxy caching, minimize cookie size, and, and so on. So there's lots of information that may help us speed up the actual processing of our web page. When you run this on your own web page, it's likely you'll get other things showing where the Chrome developer tools are giving you information that you might want to think about acting upon to help improve the speed of your pages. A very common thing that you'll see is specifying image dimensions. Quite often when we have images on our web pages, we don't always specify the width and height. And here you can say exactly the same thing. A width and height should be specified for all images in order to speed up the page display. Some other common, another recommendation I often see is recommendations about CSS style sheets. Quite often when you're using a framework such as Bootstrap, you'll have separate style sheets containing lots of style elements that are not used on every single page. Well, the auditor here may suggest removing lots of those styles from certain pages. But we know actually in reality, we don't want to do that because we may have other pages on our website that use those elements. So you've got to take what this audit panel gives you with a pinch of salt and really work out whether it really applies to your web pages. Let's leave the audits panel there. And the next thing we'll do is take a look at the console panel.